In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to interface a tiny little switch to the AVR 80 mega 32 microcontroller. So what we will do in this particular session is, we will read the switch, you know, so we need to make the switch as input and if the switch is pressed, we will turn off the LED, if the switch is released, we will turn it on. So uh, it's pretty simple and a straightforward thing. So let's just go ahead and see what we require to do it. Now this, we could interface the switch and LED to any port or rather any pin on the microcontroller. So now I'm assuming that, uh, you know, from the previous videos you know what the basic connections are required like the crystal power and all that stuff so yeah so let us assume we have connected all of that and let us say this is our 80 mega 32 now i could connect this to any of the ports uh, port a b c and d so uh, let me connect the switch to port b zero and uh, so this is our switch okay and let me connect the LED to port B1 so this is LED all right so let me just draw that so uh, the circuit would be pretty simple now uh, like say this is our port B zero so and this is our port b1 so they would be adjacent pins you know just to uh, draw it little clearly i'm separating this so so let's say the switch is connected to port b0 now normally how you would connect a switch is you would you would take the switch all right and you could do it uh, any of the ways so okay let me just do it the other way okay, so yeah let's say that this is our switch and okay this is our switch so when it is pressed uh, it goes to ground and so the problem here is what what happens when the switch is not pressed or when it is not closed so this pin will be floating so in order to have a stable logical level at this pin what is usually done is this pin is tried to 5 volts with the help of a pull-up resistor so this pull-up resistor is usually about 10 kilo ohms so this is connected to VCC uh, you could other uh, do the other way around as well so you can take the switch place it here uh, take the resistor and place it here so now what happens is whenever the switch is not pressed or when it is released we have zero here because the pin grounds so yeah sorry so whenever the switch is released right so this is the release state what we have is the switch is pulled to VCC and what we will always have is logic 1 on this pin now when the switch is closed since the resistance will be 0 and here we have some resistance what happens is all the current from the port flows to ground and what we have on the pin is logical 0 so this is pretty simple thing and let's say we have uh, LED on port B1 so again as we have seen previously, we need to connect the LED through a uh, current limiting resistor. Okay, just to safeguard this LED. And let's say we have a 220 ohm resistor and this is our bright red LED. Okay, so this is the LED. So what we'll do is, it's pretty simple. So we'll make port B0 as input we'll read the value so normally it would be one so whenever it is one we just turn on the led so uh, so this would be the least i'll show you the switch 
and I'll uh, demonstrate it. Yeah, there are various types of switches and I'll be showing you the tactile switch. So whenever it is released, it is not pushed, we'll have one and we'll turn on the LED. So whenever this is one, we will turn it on and whenever we press the switch we'll get a zero here and we'll turn off the led so this is pretty simple task we need to do now uh, to do this we need to take care of following things first thing is we need to set the directions for the port pins so what we need to do is first we need to make the make the port port b0 as input so this is port b0 this should be made as input and in the led it should be made as output so the led is on port p1 so this should be made as output and we do this using a resistor uh, called as data direction resistor and in this case now, since it is on port B, the data direction resistor would be DDRP. All right, now in the next uh, task is to simply check the particular port pin, and if it is, you know, one, send a one. If it is zero, send a zero. So uh, after that, what we do is we check pin and turn on or off the LED. So basically, we are checking the switch and we are turning on or off the LED so let me say that uh, check switch and turn on or off the LED so check switch and display it on the LED so this is pretty simple basic task we have for now so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, write the code for this also one more thing to remember is uh, we've discussed this in the uh, in a basics video whenever you want to access a pin that is whenever you want to read an input the resistor that you should use is called the pin resistor and in this case since this is on port b it's called the pin b so uh, to uh, the first thing is we need to set the directions and for that we'll be using the ddr b resistor and we'll be using the pin b resistor to take the input from this particular switch and we'll be using the port B resistor to you know turn on this LED. So this resistor sets the direction. This uh, resistor we need to use it whenever we are taking input from an external device like a switch. And this port, uh, port B resistor, you've seen this in the LED blinking uh, program. So this we use it whenever we want to send data out of the microcontroller. All right, so let's just go ahead uh, have this in back of mind so we'll just go ahead and write the code for this all right so i have uh, the basic setup here as we did in the first video so uh, so this uh, should be very simple so first as we said we need to set the data direction and before we even go ahead and do that let us just define the led and switch is constant so that we can change them any to any port or pin we wish so let's say led is one so before that let me define the switch so let's say i'll just call it as sw because switch is a keyword in c so let, let's just call that sw and so we have switch and led de defined so what this basically means is this is connected to pin 0 the physical pin 0 of port b and this this means is what this means is it's connected to pin 1 so here we do not have any definition of the port but we'll do that in just a while now so the next thing we need to do is we need to set the data direction now we need to make uh, we need to make you see in this how to set a particular bit so in this particular case and the switch needs to be input and the LED needs to be output and to make a pin as input we need to you know send a zero to the DDRB resistor and in order to send a zero we use this particular 
logical operation and equals to inverted of whatever uh, pin or, or the pin position that we want to set as input so this would be this would be this would be switch okay so what this does is it will it will set the switch switch pin as input so it will set the data direction for the switch as input now let us make the led as output so for that r equals to one shifted by led times so this is it so this makes switch as input and this makes led as output if you're not sure as to what is going on here uh, just check out the uh, video on basics of AVFC and how to set a clear a particular bit okay so, so with this we have set the directions now all the while what we need to do is so this is while one what we need to do is we need to check if the if the switch is pressed and to do that uh, what we do is we take the pin resistor now pin B and then we would add it with one shifted switch times okay so and if if result of this particular thing if it is equal to equal to one okay so it is usually one so whenever a switch is released it's one so what you do is you turn on the led so so again to turn on the led so we use this simple uh, set set bit uh, you know instruction and this is led times and if it is not the case you know if it is not one so it, it means that switch is pressed and then we need to turn off the led so port b and equals to inverted of one shifted led times so that's it so okay so this is a pretty basic simple program that that we can use to test this so uh, let me just compile it okay it compiles without error so let let me go ahead and upload this okay so Okay, so I'm using this particular board. So let's see. Okay, the code is flashed. So we'll rig up the circuit and we'll see how it works. Okay, let's get started. So before we go ahead and interface the switch, I'd like to show you different types of them. So this is a push button switch. So when you when you press it, it holds its state. So when you release it, it releases it. So this is uh, used, you know, when you need to turn or turn on or off a certain device. So next type I have is a dip switch. So this switch, as you can see, there are four switches, individual switches on it. So you get them in package of four, eight, sixteen, uh, whatever you want. So basically, what you could use this for is with four switches you can have 16 combinations so you can have 16 inputs and you can use them to do whatever you want so and this this is one more type this is slide switch so uh, when you slide from one position to other and the contacts get connected and again this is used for power this is one more push button type of switch and what you have here is a tactile switch so when you press it okay this is pretty small I'll show you the uh, it is big brother so uh, it is quite big here so this is on the six uh, millimeter one so we, i'll show you with this so 
when you press this particular switch the two contacts that you see on this side get connected same happens with the two contacts on the other side so when you press it these two contacts uh, get connected so you'll be using them in this position so when I press the switch uh, the two contacts here get connected so I can use any of these two contacts either these or these so I'll be using these on the top so let's go, go ahead and uh, hook it up real fast so uh, what we'll do is we'll start with the power so power from the board 5 volts uh, connected to the board so this entire line becomes 5 volts I'll pick the ground next so the black one goes to the ground okay so the entire line now becomes ground okay so I need a 10 kilo ohm resistor to uh, you know hook one end of the uh, switch to the power so one end of the switch goes to VCC through a resistor so this is 5 volts it goes to one end of the resistor okay and yeah, okay so the next thing I need to do is and the same end goes to the port input so let me just connect that so this is the same end so I'll connect it to port B0 so 0 is the switch and now we are left with the LED but before we do that we need to connect the other end of the switch to the ground here so this is the other end and it goes to the ground like this okay now we need to hook up the LED so the uh, this terminal is positive and the shorter one is negative so positive first negative second on line 50 and 51 so uh, this and the negative goes through a 220 ohm resistor to ground so this is pretty simple so it's right here so one goes to ground anywhere on that line and this is negative and the signal comes from port B1 so let me take a blue wire and connect it to port B1 and it goes to LED okay so we have it turned on so it should be turned on all the while so if I press the switch it should go off Ah, it's working all right so I was freaking out with this camera because it was stopping recording in between so I was able to complete the recording now thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe